previously on the Harder Dolts. Now then, here's your next mission. You must get married and have a child. <coughs> Say what? Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Harder Dolts. <coughs> It's a new year with new projects, and in today's video I will show you how I do Anya Forger aka Anya from a Spy Family. As I mentioned in Lloyd's video, I wanted to do a mini series of repaints in order that the Forger family join her for Twilight's mission. And well, it's the turn of Anya, who is the adopted daughter of Lloyd, who is able to read minds and at the same time to be a mean in the entire anime. <laughs> At first, I didn't know which doll to use to make Anya, so my friend Steph from Stefo Dolls suggested me to use one of the Barbie Extra Mini Dolls. And when I saw the dolls, I knew they were perfect for this project, so thank you Steph for telling me this. And thanks to her proportions, I was able to make my concept art in order to have a better idea of how I want to draw her face. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I apply new videos. And without further ado, let's get started. Very well, now that I have my doll, I start to open the packaging to appreciate it better. And I must say that I really enjoy doing this part. Out of the box, I can see how small she is. Her hair is very long and silky and without measuring how much I like her accessories and makeup. I use a BTS doll to better check the size physically. Also because I made love with one of those and those have a better conception. And yes, it looks an appropriate size. I can't wait to work with this doll. And after 3 years, my videos finally have a good resolution. My channel has grown and my technique has improved a lot, and the old quality was already bothering me a lot. Here is a comparison of what I'm talking about, and you can leave a comment to say what you think. Going back to the video, I already removed the doll's head to cut her hair. It hurt me a lot to do this part since she really has a nice hair. But if I didn't do it, there will be no video, so I take my scissors and start to cut from the root. And then remove what is inside with a flat screwdriver, and remove the residue by hitting the head several times on the table. Now with pure acetone, I clean her face with several cotton cloths. Reminding this way. And with that, it's time to do her hair. I paint her bald head pink first so I can make the wig cut better. I had these two color options for her hair and I didn't know which one to choose so I put a poll on Instagram and many of you voting for the pink number 2 but in the end I decided to use the number 1 since personally it closely resembled Anya's hair color. And as you can see the hair was already to be worn. Now with that I put the wig cut on the head on the doll which I also painted pink. And off camera, I already gluing the hair wet to focus more on styling her hair, dividing into sections to start cutting. With some chopstick, I tried to make her curls. This time I only used water to shake her hair and thus do something different when doing Anya's hairstyle. And this is how her hairstyle looks. It looks very puffy and the color looks like cotton candy. <laughs> Now to ensure this shape, I will protect it with hairspray. The next step will be to make the cones of her head, and for that I use pins to first make the structure so that later I will make the shape with a patsy sculpt. I have no idea what those things are, but I heard around that they are little witch hats which Anya never takes off, literally. And this is how they turn it out, making both look similar was very difficult, but I think I achieved a good result. Once the accessories are made, I begin to paint them with several layers of black paint. 
and then made the decoration with gold paint. With a fine brush I covered my mistake with more black. And this is the result, each one looks so good even after varnish it. This is how they would look on the doll's head along with the hair and it was definitely what I wanted. And with that it's time to work on her face. With a scalpel I will remove her lids since I felt they don't fit well with Anya's face. And with her hair back on her body I add a pot of gold in the area that I cut to be able to shake her new mouth. Just as it was I did in my concept I wanted an open more cheerful expression since they made the face look more childish and chibi at the same time. Just like how I did Hanako's kun mouth. Now I start sanding so that the clay blends well on the surface, and then secure the edges with super glue so as not to cause cracks in the face. And after another pass of sandpaper this is how the expression of her mouth has been. Off camera I already paint her face this time in a lighter tone. And after 3 coats of MSC I begin to draw circle for the shape of her eyes. Now speaking a bit about the character, Anya is an undiable a character with too much charisma and very funny and more when it comes to their expressions. Last year I went to an anime event in my country and I took a photo with a girl who made a cosplay of Anya. But for the photo I asked her to make the heh <laughs> face of Anya. And yes, she did it. It was seriously a really fun moment. <laughs> After another coat of spray I paint her pupils green using different shades to give a gradient effect. After that I use other colors and start to highlight her lashes with dark brown. Now with a lighter shape of green I draw the rings that surround her pupils. And I can finally use the black pencil to mark her eyelashes. Now with that it's time to use the pencil as watercolors and then use the acrylics. As a personal touch I made some dots with neon in the center of the pupils. With this clear paint I will make the rings of her eyes look more pop. And with that I made the shine of her eyes with white paint. Off camera I also repaint again her head pink. And with the last coat of spray I protect the white area of her eyes with gloss varnish. And with a matte one I only protect her mouth and eyebrows. And this is how she turned it out. She looks so adorable and even more so after having modified her mouth. I'm definitely satisfied and delighted with this result. Very well, now let's see how she looks with her hair on. And after having put her accessories on, she's definitely Anya. With that, it's time to make her clothes. Now with my powders marked on the fabric, this is how the white shirt and pants turn it out. I literally used this image to make her uniform and it was seriously helpful, honestly. Now it's time to work on the main piece of her uniform. With this golden ribbon I will use it to make the bottom piece. I already fit it with a glue stick, so that later I can cut the edges. And then sew it with golden thread. Stay in this way, I repeat the same process in the other pieces so that I will join them off camera. And after having joined it this is how it turned it out. I must say that this piece has been my second try. This has been the first one, and I must say that after I put paint and glue on it it made it hard before join- Oh. Well, the point is that I can use this. So to be able to do the decoration with the power of editing I go from this to this. And yes, everything has been painted by him. Sometimes taking your time and doing this with patient pays off. Off camera I painted the Eden logo on the shirt and with gold paint decorated the pants with the same pattern on the uniform. And this is how it will look on the doll's body. This video was not recorded in order, so don't worry about the doll's head. 
I'll use a thin red ribbon to make the decoration on her neck, which I'll glue it with silicone glue. Off camera, I made the emblem that surrounds the ribbon with a bit of epoxy. And as you can see, it's very small. Just look my finger. I just have to glue it very carefully with super glue and it's ready. Also, off camera, I already saw her white stockings. For these shoes, I decided to reuse the ones that came with the doll and made them look like the ones Anya wears in her uniform. I'll just cut the part that I don't need with a scalpel looking like this. And with some ribbon and a potsy, I completely changed them. I painted them off camera, giving me this result, and they look great. And this is how Anya's uniform has turned it out. Without a doubt, the small details giving it an excellent touch. Just like I did with Lloyd, I want Anya to have two looks. So, off camera, I also made her casual clothes, which consists of a black dress and short socks. For the dress, I used the same pattern as the uniform. I only changed the neckline and the shape of the slits. So, tell me in the comments which one is your favorite look. I couldn't leave Anya empty handed, and to complement her, I decided to make her plush toy Mr. Chimera using this figure of a Pokemon, and um, I think it's a Pokemon, I just don't know which one. And then completely modified it with a potsy to make it look more like Mr. Chimera. So I just had to paint it, and that's it. And with that, Anya Forger is ready. Now let's see the final photos. For being a small doll, I did have complication making her clothes. This time, I had not glued her hair, since when it comes to change her clothes, it is much easier to do it. But leaving that aside, I'm very happy with the result of her face, and more if I had add my own details. And above all, very happy with the new resolution in my videos, it certainly makes them look more professional. Well, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media as The Harder Dolls. The link to my coffee page is in the description of the video. If you want to buy me a coffee, I would really appreciate it, seriously. Seeing this photo of Anya with her dad makes me very happy and want to start making the doll of your. <laughs> That's all for today, guys. My name is Eric, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>